Your mind is powerful, but sometimes it builds walls instead of bridges. From childhood, we absorb stories about who we are, what we're good at, and how the world sees us. These stories form a mental construct, the perception box. But here's the truth. Most of those stories aren't even ours. Maybe you've always been the smart one, the creative one, or not enough. These labels shape how we show up in the world. They come from our environment, our families, our culture. We learn by watching. This is called observational learning. But what we observe isn't always empowering. Sometimes we inherit self-criticism. Sometimes we're boxed into roles that no longer serve us. And then there's the brain's negativity bias. We're wired to notice what's wrong more than what's right. Add confirmation bias, and we start seeking proof that our limiting beliefs are true. I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable. I'll never change. These thoughts become our reality unless we intervene, but we can intervene. One simple practice. Ask yourself, what were my wins this week? At first, you might say nothing much, but dig deeper. That early morning walk, a win. That tough conversation, a win. The more you look, the more you find, and the more you find, the more your brain starts to shift. Change doesn't happen overnight. If your old thought patterns are a smooth highway, new ones start as dirt roads. You have to walk them, pave them, light them. Eventually, they become your new path. This is where metacognition comes in, the ability to observe your thoughts, to name them. When you name a thought, you activate the part of your brain responsible for higher thinking. You take power away from the emotional brain that clings to old stories. You grab the wheel. You say, this is the box I've lived in, but I'm ready to build a new one. And the best part? The brain can change at any age. You are not stuck. You are not broken. You are becoming. Rewire your mind. Reclaim your story. Step outside the matrix.